Hey, I'm Leroy Stager, and you're watching 101.9 Kink Radio in the Skype Live studio. Very nice, gentlemen. Thanks again for doing this. Thanks for coming to Portland. Uh, the album you mentioned, Love Versus, you've got that going on. Your guys are on tour, and I know you also have done a radio show recently. Uh, yeah, I've, I've been. Uh, there's a really great um, radio station called CKUA up uh, where we live, and it's a province wide. I guess it'd be kind of comparable to like an NPR okay. thing. And um, yeah, they asked me to do something, and it's kind of been in the back of my mind for a few, about five years, actually, to do something. And um, it worked out great, and yeah, the show just got renewed. So. And you were telling me your grandfather's been in radio for how many decades? He was in radio for 50 years. He got a Lifetime Achievement Award wow. for radio. Yeah, it was cool, because when I was a kid, um, I did work experience in school at the radio station, and my grandpa was actually working there. I didn't even know that when I showed up, and... And then also, years later, we found out Tyson, who's 10 years my senior, also did work experience at the same radio yeah, station. So we were kind of <laughs> destined for, for this. So your parents didn't panic when you said, I either want to be a radio DJ or a musician on the road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get a real job. So I know the album, Love Versus, uh, you assembled some serious heavy hitters for the album. How long does it take to feel comfortable playing with folks you have not performed with? That's a great question. Um, for me, I think... Well, to have someone, Pete Thomas played drums, and he is in the Attractions, uh, Elvis Costello's band. Of course. And he's played with McCartney, um, with Los Lobos, and it was actually my friend Steve Berlin uh, from Portland here that uh, hooked me up with um, with Pete. And he was kind of like, oh, I don't think Pete's going to want to travel to Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada. And he's really expensive. And then, But then the next day, Pete was like, I'm coming. He's like, book nice. me a flight, you know. And I know you're not um, new to this. That's your 11th album, but was it intimidating having those folks with I you? I think... You know, it was in it was in my home studio, so it, when it was in my home, so Pete showed up, and you know what? It took ten minutes for us to realize that we were going to get along real, real good. Then, how long did the project take to put the album together? Uh, we, well, we recorded for a week and then mixed for a couple months, and yeah, but it was amazing, and we all communed every day. We had breakfast together and dinner together, and just you know, told stories and laughed. And did you have poutine? <laughs> What, what is poutine? Uh, poutine? <laughs> poutine? Did we? Yeah. We yeah. Did. Oh yes, yes we did. Poutine is French fries. Oh, that's right, with the cheese curds, the gravy, and cheese curds. Yeah. Just didn't health food. Yeah, hel yeah, yeah, yeah. Albertan uh, com health health food. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks so much for doing this. Can we hear some more music? Yeah. It's Leroy Stagger. Mm -hmm. 